Welcome to Big Datapedia. Today we are going to discuss about scoop operator. So how we are going to submit scoop import operation via Apache Airflow Scheduler. That's we are going to discuss today. So directly we will be going to see some direct hands on and trying with Apache Airflow. So MySQL U root iPhone root with the user ID and password for my SQL I just enter and go for my test and show the tables I have a table web block text details so I just collect the data from web block text and see how many records is available so close to 950 records is available in this so we just going to be upload this data from my SQL to HDFS via scoop operator in Airflow scheduler so uh, as well I just going to be check in the path okay we have Airflow project we don't have any other tools so there been any other directory okay we don't have any directory because scoop import only allow while it will be executing the code at the time it will be creating that directory it's a runtime directory only it will be created so right now we don't have it we will be using this directory for scoop import operations so let's make the code import airflow and we need to import with DAG from airflow dot models import DAG and then we will be importing DAG as well as Airflow we have imported and then scoop import. From airflow dot contribute dot operators oh sorry operators and we have scoop operator and importing scoop operator okay that's it I guess we're just going to be make some DAG okay in DAG we have to provide few things fastest DAG ID So this DAG ID only visible in Airflow Web UI. So I just providing scope import and then schedule interval and start date. Three is must. So schedule interval as per the cron tab. I just providing every one minute once I just going to be execute this code. and start date for start date we have to import another one library from airflow dot utils dot dates import days ago so I'm going to use that days ago here. Just two days I'm just provided. Okay. Now we just created a DAG. So on top of the DAG is going to scoop operator going to be work now. 
so now we will be going to create a scoop variable so scoop operator so scoop operator my expecting with uh, normal assign operations will go with target directory connections and uh, a table name so rest of the details we have to provide here the first connection id i'll be providing scoop local and then tables will come ok table so the table name is web block text so the web block test and then we have to provide command type command type is import and then target directory so this is the path that we will be going to use it for this operation ok connect scope import connect table name username password already provided in the connection id and then import operation we just mentioned here and then target directory and number of mappers so number of mappers i just mentioned as a one i think it will come let's see and finally we need to include which tag is going to be work now so dag scope import dag is going to be work with this and we didn't include any dummy operator so directly i just provide like this now we are going to start our airflow So Airflow web server going to be help for web UI interactions and as well scheduler helps to checking that a heartbeat at every time. So both will be executed. Something is missed. Argument task ID is required. Okay dag id will be represent so task id for this operation we need to provide right so task id scoop import so this task id can be seen in dag that is it was, it was expecting now Now we'll see the workflow will be opened right now. So we we'll just going to be seeing that web UI and the job is big data triple zero scoop import and task scoop import only we provided. scope import comes here so this is the DAG ID will be showing to the web UA the same name so now we just going to be see right now we didn't kickstart this so we just going to be kickstart here
and we'll see so task will be raised right now Still, it's trying to restart. Yeah, okay. So, job has been started. Okay, still, it, now it's running. Just go and see here. So scoop import is a task ID that we have provided. Now it is running. We just wait for some time until this job completed. Still, it isn't running. Once the job is completed, we can see in our terminal if the data is alive in that particular directory or not like that. Just going to put it up. yeah job is completed so now it is in success stage so here also we can see yeah it's completed now we just go and see the directory yeah now the data will be stored in this directory TFS so if on cat we can see the data what is actually is available. Okay, the same data whatever we have seen here, it will be available here again. So like this we have to import the scoop job here. So for this next execution it's going to be failure because of the path is already exist so it will not be allowing you for the next operation last run so we just wait 3.30.46 So second job is kick started now. So same directory is going to be uh, trying to import the data. But it's going to be failure. So we can try with incremental import in the later session.
okay now it's failed so uh, what I'm doing I'm just going to be delete this directory and we'll see for the next operation okay so directory has been deleted now if I'm trying to open the data the directory is not available for the next job is going to be success again work with cellular equipment okay we are trying with the stand uh, sequential executor so it will not be allowing you if you are trying to execute the salary or Kubernetes executor then you can trigger it so third operation get started right now now this job is going to be success still it is running still running once this job is going to be success we can see the same directory again the data will be loaded Now the job is completed successfully. We can go and see the data. Yeah. So if it is a one time activation, based on that you can select the scheduler. So only one time it's going to be executed. If it is a repeater in scoop import, you have to select for incremental operation jobs. Like that you can schedule it. now we can see the data again that's it so please provide your valuable comments in below based on that we will be do some upgrade and improvements for the further sessions thank you